Hey, what's up guys? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys the next episode of my Boom Beach Let's Play series. So looking at what we're going to do today, we did my landing craft in the last episode, and I did upgrade the second landing craft when we were away, so let's focus on getting the headquarters up to level 4. It's going to be about 6,000 wood, but we'll get the armory, a machine gun, a med kit, as well as another landing craft, so that's going to be pretty vital, and I want to get that as soon as possible. Looking at the map right now, we do have those two like player versus player bases, I guess, with real life people. But first, I'm going to attack this resource base, and I think this is the first resource base we've ever attacked. So what a resource base is, it's similar to a regular like computer controlled base, but instead of giving you wood, it actually, or instead of giving you gold, it gives you other resources. So for this one, this is a wood resource base. After I destroy it and I control it, I'm going to get wood every hour. Um, but the difference between this and other bases is that other players attack you. So like the computer, or I guess like Lieutenant Hammerhead or whatever, doesn't attack you back. It's actually another player who attacks you and takes back the resource base. And every time the resource base is captured, it looks like your stuff gets leveled up. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. It looks like the machine guns got upgraded. As far as the base design goes, I guess you can move it around and change it to how you like. Not really I can do, not really too much I can do with these machine guns, I'm sort of just going to place them here. And another thing you can do with the resource bases is cut down the trees and get that extra wood. So I know that I did this later in the series where I actually cut down the trees uh, with all the gold that I have because you get so much gold in the beginning of this game, it's crazy. Like my gold is always full whereas my wood, I can usually always use more wood. I don't want to expand my map too fast but I guess I'm going to have to just because I have so much gold. Uh, but yeah, that's it for that and let's go ahead and attack our first real life player. So yeah, what do you think I should call those bases? Are these like PvP bases? Or should I just call them real players? Definitely drop a comment on what the terminology of, the, of these things are. But anyways, looking at this guy's base, this is a perfect example of how you don't have to really focus on defenses in Boom Beach. So this guy has five defenses in total. He has three sniper towers, one machine gun, and one mortar. But all I'm going to do is shoot down one of those sniper towers and then I'm not even going to worry about the stuff on the top left. I'm just going to take care of the second sniper tower and the headquarters will be able to get shot down without having to put any more of my troops in danger. Um, so right when this goes down, I'll just use one of my flares and get it over to the headquarters right there. I'm not going to call it a directional smoke anymore. I think I've graduated from that. <laughs> so, so yeah, we can take care of this headquarters. And once that goes down, it will explode the rest of the base. So yeah, whenever you see a base like this, especially like the real life players, they usually don't have the smartest base designs and low level. Um, so all I'm going to have to do is just flank them from the right and I will get the 100% victory. And in total, I'm going to get a massive amount of resources. I'm going to get over 10,000 gold, almost 5,000 wood. So definitely way more than any other raid I've done so far. Way more. I think the most I've gotten is like 2,000 gold and 1,000 uh, wood. But anyways, let's head back to base. With that raid, we do have enough to upgrade my headquarters to level 4 with just those two raids right there. So yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Again, we're going to get all those sweet things that I talked about earlier. The armory to upgrade my troops, the machine gun, the med kit, and the landing craft. And I guess since we do have some more time, we can't end it at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So let me do a couple more raids. All right, this raid right here, we got fuel yard. Pretty simple, just like the last episode, gonna take care of the far defense and with the artillery and then use the closest defense or use my troops on the closest defense. And after we shoot down the sniper tower, we're gonna be good to go yet again. All right, so like I said in the last episode, the giveaway winners, I was working on those and I have announced the winners, so I'm not gonna say it in this video, but if you look in the description below, it's gonna have all the winners. So if you see yourself down there, definitely check your YouTube inbox. You've won a $10 iTunes gift card. I'm probably gonna ask you what your country is, so I'm gonna send you a message for that. Uh, but if anyone asks you ever to do a survey and they're pretending to be me, do never do a survey or anything like that. All I'm gonna ask for is your country to make sure I get you the right iTunes gift card. So congrats to the winners. Make sure you check out the description below to see if you one. And if you guys want to see some more giveaways, I knew Supercell actually offered to give me stuff to give away to you guys. Um, so if you want to see more of them, just drop a comment and I'll try to make it happen. All right, looking at this base right here, this is a pretty funny one. You'll see what happens. I didn't know what level this guy's sniper tower was. I thought it was like maybe like level five. Um, but as soon as he started attacking like my heavy and my rifleman, I knew I was in a lot of trouble. So he shot down my rifleman. He's going to start to shoot down or sorry, he shot down my heavy. And once he started to attack my rifleman, I went ahead and retreated because I knew I was in a lot of trouble. So, so far, it looks like this is my only fail in Boom Beach. <laughs> I guess that's karma for having that great battle earlier. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to try to upgrade my troops before I go back to that one um, because that was definitely a manslaughter. 
all right looking at the base still got plenty of time left on the headquarters so no more upgrades for now let me go ahead and cook up some troops and we will move on to the next episode just in a little bit all right guys that's gonna wrap it up i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like if you did again congrats to all the winners of the itunes gift card make sure you message me back on like the feature points winners and i will see you guys later peace out